Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given exponential equation 19 power x square plus 4x minus 21 minus 19 power x square plus 4x minus 22 equals to 54 divided by 57 where x are our integers. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And before we solve this exponential equation, we are going to manipulate it. And let's focus on this very first term, 19 power x square plus 4x minus 21. And here I have copied it down. And now we are going to tweak this part, negative 21. We can write this negative 21 as negative 22 plus 1. So therefore, this could be written as 19 power x square plus 4x minus 22 plus 1. And here this part, I'm going to group it in a parenthesis and now let's recall this product rule of exponents so therefore this could be written as 19 power x square plus 4 x minus 22 times 19 power 1 19 power 1 is same as 19 and now i am going to replace this whole first term by this uh, simplified form so therefore i can write this one as 19 power x square plus 4 x minus 22 times 19 and i'm going to put minus and i'm going to copy down this whole thing over here 19 power x square plus 4x minus 22 is equal to now on the right hand side this fraction could be reduced to 18 divided by 19 and now before we proceed any further let's focus on this part this could be written as this times 1 it doesn't make any difference whatsoever and now we can see that this 19 power x square plus 4x minus 22 and same thing over here is in common between these two terms. So we can factor that one out. So therefore we are going to factor out uh, 19 power x square plus uh, 4x minus uh, 22 outside and inside parentheses we are left with the 19 minus 1 equals to on the right hand side we got 18 divided by 19 and now we can see that this 19 minus 1 is same as 18 so therefore this equation is going to become 19 power x square plus 4x minus 22 and then times 18 equals to 18 divided by 19 and now we are going to multiply both sides by 1 over 18 on this side and 1 over 18 on this side as well and now we can see that this 1 over 18 and this 18 is gone so we are left with on the left hand side with the 19 power x square plus 4x minus 22 equals to on the right hand side this 18 and 18 is gone so we ended up with 1 over 19 and now on the right hand side 1 over 19 is a fraction this could also be written as 19 power negative 1 so therefore the right hand side is going to become 19 power negative 1 and the left hand side is going to stay same and now let's focus on this one the basis is 19 on both side 
as long as the bases are same we can equate our exponents as well so therefore let's go ahead and equate the exponents x square plus 4x minus 22 equals to negative 1 on the right hand side and now let's add 1 on both side this on the right hand side negative 1 and positive 1 is gone so we are going to get x square plus 4x minus 21 turns out to be equal to 0 and now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and now we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring and now let's focus on this part 4x we can tweak it we can write 7x minus 3x so therefore we can write this one x square plus 7x minus 3x minus 21 equals to 0 and now we can see between first two terms we can see x is in common and between these last two terms we can see that negative 3 is in common so therefore we are going to factor out x and we are going to get x plus 7 and likewise negative 3 is factored out and we got x plus 7 equals to 0 and now we can see that x plus 7 and x plus 7 is in common so therefore we can factor it out and this could be written as x minus 3 times x plus 7 equals to 0 and now since these two factors are 0 split them up so I can write x minus 3 equal to 0 and I can write x plus 7 equal to 0 and this over here x minus 3 equal to 0 means our x value turns out to be positive 3 and likewise for this second equation that is going to give us x equal to negative 7 value so we got two solutions x equal to 3 and x equal to negative 7 and they are indeed integers as you can see over here so after all these multiple steps and manipulation our solutions turn out to be x equal to 3 and x equal to negative 7 and that is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye